full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. A dirty or broken HDMI cable. HDMI cables are the standard connection between cable or satellite boxes and the TV. If the HDMI cable is dirty, eroded, or loosely connected, the TV signal from the cable slash sat box won't be strong enough. This seems to be a recurring problem in areas where the ambient humidity is high, since the moisture in the air damages the exposed cables. It would help to try removing and reconnecting any cables you have connected to the TV. The color temperature is set to warm or cool. This is the simplest reason why your Samsung TV has a purple tint. Someone might have messed with the picture controls, setting the color temperature to warm or cool. However, this change is only very slight and doesn't look like a strong purple. Color tone is a setting you can change to have the display be neutral, cool, or a varying degree of warm. While neutral offers pure white images, cool normally adds a bluish tint, and warm one or two adds an increasing amount of pinkish hue. You can adjust it by following these steps. Press the settings button on the remote. Select picture. Select expert settings. Scroll down to color tone. Choose neutral. The RGB color settings are incorrect. RGB is another problem with the settings, but this one gives a stronger purple tint to the screen. The RGB controls were used to calibrate the color balance of the TV. You can also adjust the color tint by playing with the RGB settings on your TV. If that's what skews the display towards purple, you can try to adjust it to have a more neutral color. Here's how you can do that on modern Samsung TV. Press the settings button on the remote. Select picture. Select expert settings. Scroll down to color tint, G slash R. Use the right and left arrow buttons to adjust the color tint till it reaches the correct value. An error in the TV's input. Sometimes, there could be a hiccup in the signal packets provided through the coax, HDMI, or a slash V ports for no apparent reason. If the TV and the input device have been working for a long time with no rest, it could cause multiple errors, including the purple or pink screen. Just unplug the TV and cable slash sat box, wait for about 60 seconds, then plug them back in. This resets all the connections within the TV and the input source, so if there's a problem with the signal, it's usually resolved. Try a software update. There is a possibility that there is a software bug causing the issue. You can turn on automatic software updates by going Settings, then Support, then Software Update and ensure auto update is turned on. Alternatively, you can manually update over the internet by clicking update now. Try doing a soft reset. Often, a soft reset is all that is needed to solve issues on a Samsung TV. A soft reset does not erase any data. To soft reset a Samsung TV, you simply need to turn the TV off. Then remove the plug from the wall outlet and wait for 60 seconds. Then put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults and your data will be erased. To do this, do the following. Turn on the TV and press the home button on the remote. Go to settings, then click to general, then click reset. You must then enter a four-digit PIN number, which is 0000 by default. Then click Yes to reset the TV. The TV will then turn off once it has finished resetting. You can now turn the TV back on and set it up again. Do a picture test. A picture test is a self-diagnostic process that allows the TV to identify the problem and find a suitable solution. To do this, do the following. Press the Settings button, go to Support, go to Device Care, go to Self-Diagnosis, then click Picture Test. If you still are having issues with your TV, try taking a look at the comments. I will make sure to keep the blog post, linked in the description, updated with any new fixes that appear.